to my Girl Talk guitar tutorial called Melody Style. Hi my jazz friends all over the world, Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. I've made a rather easy arrangement that should be doable for most of you. You can download the tabs and the uh, backing track from the link down below in the description box. Please also visit my lesson shop Guitar Versum for more uh, lessons like this one. And now let's start the Girl Talk. We're in the key of E flat major and we have an A1 and an A2 section, but they are both totally identical. So I'm gonna play only through the A2 section because the A2 section is the same as the A1 section pl plus an ending chord, all right? If you purchase the backing tracks with the full package, the backing tracks of course have the uh, entire song form A1 plus A2 plus the ending chord and the whole thing is repeated several times so you can practice along. All right, let's get started. We are here on the E flat major 7 chord in the beginning, that's 6, 8, 7, 8 and I play the bass first only, then a whole chord and then a melody, two more B strings. Then we go to an A7 flat 9 chord in the shape of an E diminished chord. That's the same thing. 7, 8, 6, 8. Then the melody on the B string three more times. Then we go to an A flat major 7. 4, 3, uh, uh, sorry, 6, 5, 4, 3. Then melody tone on the upper E string then the G string twice, all right? F minor seven, just a shell voicing, F, A flat, E flat, then the E flat again, and the B flat, seven flat, nine chord in the shape of a diminished chord again. You see, there's a pattern here. Five, six, four, six. So a diminished chord starting on a chord tone of the altered chord, is a 7 flat 9 chord. So here would be the B flat root actually, right? So uh, the first four bars. Now we go to the G minor 7, that's 3, here's the G, and the upper 3 um, Actually, the upper four because I start with the bass note and then the upper four make a G minor seven, right? And then an E string, high E string twice. C7 flat nine in the shape of a diminished chord again, but this time it's on the upper four strings. Two, three, two, three. The root would be here, but it's not included in the voicing. Then the E string three times. F minor seven, three, five, four, four. We have now have an upward movement to uh, G minor seven, and that's a cool thing. The bass line now goes from F to G to A flat to B flat, while the melody descends. So that's, I don't know the English term for that, uh, contrary movement, motion. So, it's a classical composing technique. Three, 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 three for the G minor and the upper E string. Now A flat six, that's four, three, uh, five and four. And then a B string again. Actually, all you have to do coming from the G minor seven is just add these plus the uh, pinky. I just actually leave the bar here. And then you have to go down to the B flat 9. That's one open D string, one, one. You can play it like this, or like this, or like this. It doesn't really matter. Make sure that D is ringing and you don't mute it. Or just slightly. Um, all right, that was it for phrase one. Let me repeat the whole phrase for you at slow tempo. Three, four. All right. 
right, and here are the next four bars. And we now are in minor, E flat minor instead of E flat major. And here's the E flat, uh, six, four, six, seven in the four strings. We start with the bass string again, and the entire chord, the B string twice. Leave the pinky as it is, and the index bars over the fourth fret to get an A, mi a flat minor seven chord. We play the bass first, uh, no, sorry, we play the whole chord first. Bass, D, G, and B string. We never play the A string when we on uh, when we start the chord, a jazz chord on a low E string, okay? So um, plus three times the B string. F7 flat nine, eight, seven, eight, seven. Please bar this on the seventh. I know it's a little hard in the beginning, but don't play it like this. You have more possibilities when you bar this. Then the B string again. The pinky now goes to the flat five. That's an interesting melody tone, it's bluesy. The, that's the B on the ninth of the D string. Twice. B flat nine sus four. That's six, six, five, four. Six, six, five, four, yeah. Then the B string again. And now B flat seven flat nine, we have this in shape of a D diminished chord. Five, six, four, uh, six. And now we have a 2-5, the G minor, actually let's bar this, bass again and the upper 4, the G minor 7, we had this already on the 3rd fret, plus 2 times uh, of the E string, C7 flat 9, we had this before, 2-3-2-3, two, three, two, three, upper 4 strings. And now it gets interesting again. We Again, we have this contrary motion thing where the bass goes up and the melody goes down. This time, uh, the composer starts a little higher, going from G to A flat, B flat, C in bass, while the melody goes from uh, B flat to A flat to G to S to the low e, lower E. G minor seven, five, seven, six, six, on the upper four, uh, four strings. E string again. Now the A flat minor six, three, four, four, four. Here's the root, or here it is also. E string again. B flat minor six. That's three, three, two, three. It comes from this B flat minor chord. And you repeat the E string. And a cowboy chord C7. Three, two, three, one in a four strings. All right, that was it. Now let me repeat the entire phrase number two for you at slow tempo. Here we go. Three, four. You can support this channel and help to keep the free video tutorials running. You can do so by becoming a member joining the channel. Click the join button right next to the subscribe button below and you even get neat perks for your support. Thanks so much. And here are the last five bars already. It gets a little bluesy now, we're in F9. 8, 7, 8, 8, in a four strings. I start with the bass because we have a rest on a lot of these phrases. We have a rest on count one and the melody starts on one end. I don't want to have a rest, so I play the bass already. And then the rest of the chord follows that has the melody on top. Then the B string is being repeated. I take my ring finger, go one up, slide to the 10th fret of the D string and 8th fret of the uh, G string. So this is... It's a triplet. I repeat the whole thing. So that's twice. And then it goes to the B flat 13 with the same motif. I start on the, on the E string, 6, then 6, 7, 8. The rest of the chord, or the whole chord. B string is being repeated. C, E flat, right? That's the same thing as here. I just played here.
because it's it lies better here. Five and eight, and then we go to A flat minor, starting with the bass string on fourth and four four seven. We had this before. The whole chord, B string, seven and four. Right, so come from B flat. And now we have the last chords, the turnaround, three, six, two, five in the key of E flat. The third degree of E flat is G minor seven, so here we go, five, seven, six, six. I strum it softly twice. Talk C minor seven, three, five, three, four, and up to the E string on the third. Three, four, let it ring. F minor seven, one, 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 one. Um, I can't strum this. If I'd strum this, I'd have the A string, which we don't uh, want. So I need to hybrid pick this, or if you use your fingers, you just don't play the A string. One, two. B flat nine, we had this one, zero, one, one, three, four, and now the A section would repeat, and then you repeat everything until that B flat, and then you play that ending chord, E flat six, six, five, five, four, here's the E flat, right? So that's just at the end, okay? Now let me, let me repeat everything at slow tempo. Three, four. Check out my chord melody playlist for more tutorials like this one. Visit my lesson shop guitarversum.com for the lesson material, tabs, backing tricks, etc. And uh, please give this video a fat thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to share the love and the knowledge. I see you next week. Servus, baba.